update the score. It is game one. Uh, I'll keep it. Same. All right. All right, both players keeping seven, ready to go. Um, 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 uh oh. So Marat fetches on end step, and uh, so does Steven. We're likely going to see a dark ritual here. And then an op agent is my guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a force pitching Lorian revealed to stop that from happening. Marat will get to search. Uh, Meticulous archive, surveil. So we could hit force of will. We could hit. Probably isn't the correct. Yeah, Steven's deck does have a green splash. That's true. It's the in spirit, it's mono black, but it does have a green splash. All right, so basic island, a nice one. Just reanimate targeting op agent. So brainstorm in response to this reanimate. Steven trying to bring a stop to any searches for Marat. After that, yeah, it's your turn. All right, opposition agent is in. Could get sores or something, but it's in for now. All right, there's a prismatic vista, which looks a little sad at the moment. Pass. End step dress down means it will last through the end of Marat's turn. Uh, it was a wasteland. Uh, trigger drop? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Wastelands actually got me. Wasteland. Uh, you know what else? Freaking card. The <laughs> okay. Dress down is in. Prismatic Vista getting cracked now safely. Opposition agents' abilities are shut off. Basic mountain. Steven has a wasteland and could fire it off on this meticulous archive, but it seems like Steven is holding a bowmaster or something and wants to uh, keep that mana for now. My friend did that when he played Root Salt Spells. He would have his, he could have his Delver card, like the actual flip Delver here in his sideboard, and he'd open his deck box like this. But he'd be on Root Salt Spells. Nice. But register just one Delver Secret. I thought Chris was trying to do that to me a couple weeks ago, where I saw the dinosaur tokens. I'm like, ooh, is he on dinosaurs? Or yeah, the uh, Wasteland on Meticulous Archive would likely be pretty good. And now we're seeing the prismatic ending that Rugger in the chat kind of predicted here, targeting the opposition agent. It's going to be knocked out. No force of will in mono block. Yeah. Uh, go to my end step. Fourth? Yeah, trigger to sacrifice. Oh, okay. yeah, All right, so now I can respond after that's dead. Yes. All right, I'm going to flash in a Bowmaster uh, on the stack. Huh? And then you're going to slowly play a fourth. Okay, so Marat saw the Bowmaster coming. I think we all did. Brainstorm in response to it, though. 
Kind of interesting. Murat has a basic island of two kinds here. One of them snow covered, one of them not. Does that tell us something? I don't know. Maybe just style. Bowmaster's good. Ping you? Yep. 13. Yep. Uh, uh, is it the trigger or a target? Uh, yeah. Uh, going to another target. cycle troll. So trigger and target. Enters targets. Enters targets. Okay, sure. Okay, cycling troll of Kaza Doom. And yeah. trigger. Okay, Dothy Voidwalker hitting the stack here after finding the bayou, revealing the green splash. Okay, Delusional Kraut is Marat in the chat. I had four different basic island art styles to tilt Audrey. Okay. Okay, we have a uh, confirmation that we're doing it for maximum tilting. Fetch the 10. Yep. Oh my god. Zero cards. Uh, Zero. Uh, Zero. 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 Right, there's the basic planes, a nice one. The Ice Age art. Yeah. Okay, Narset. Steven's not trying to cantrip and, uh, Narset has nothing to protect it right now, but finds a Supreme Verdict, which means Narset did the job. Supreme Verdict's going to be pretty good. Marat's a 10. 1-1 one, one Orc Army, Voidwalker, Bowmaster. Could potentially knock out Narset and deal 2 damage or just attack for 5, present a 1-turn clock. But there's Supreme Verdict in hand, so it might just make sense to attack Narset. Uh, actually, I think it's just four in hand. Actually, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Just type this three. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if this. Uh, oh, gr oh, yeah. So, getting ahead of ourselves here. Grief pitching Assassin's Trophy. There is a possibility that, as the board looks right now, a waste on Meticulous Archive could shut off Supreme Verdict as well. That's a good point. Okay, the hand is revealed. Mystic Sanctuary, Supreme Verdict, Narset, Snapcaster. So. An opportunity to snatch away the Supreme Verdict. It will be chosen. Um, I'm going to waste three. your portico. Uh, uh, the Verdict goes to you. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to waste your portico. Swing you for five. Sure. Okay, the Meticulous Archive. That was actually Meticulous Archive. Gets attacked for five now. Uh, Marat off of double white has the Mystic Sanctuary in hand, but Supreme Verdict is exiled by Voidwalker. Okay, prismatic ending on Voidwalker after Snapcaster. So both of those cards will go to exile. The Void counterpile will remain. Narset could minus here, but maybe Marat holding it. Sweet. I don't see any reason not to minus Narset right now. If it invites an attack, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to minus Narset. Okay. 
Kind of Draco. I pitched the long card on Twitter. This is my only black card. I had to pitch this. I could agree with it. All right, passing the turn. End step, another Bowmaster. Going to ping Marat. Orc Armin, Orc Armin becomes a 2 2. Children's Edict. Creature? Yeah, I can just take these ways. All right, then a lethal attack. Mono Black gets game one. Start off with. Ah, so Delusional Crowd is Marat in the chat. Says that there was another Supreme Verdict drawn there, but the double white being shut off by Wasteland was so good. Fair enough. Ponder on turn one. Set up those future draws. I've never seen a Oasis. Do that. I know. It was, it was, it was completely inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, she was like. Oh, at the south over there. Yeah, but the way she wrote that picture was just like. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, thank you. I was like, oh, of course. Like, chill. It's like 11. I think it might just be a cultural thing. It wasn't even that bad. It was just like, oh, wait. Do I want spicy? Like, no, I'll change it to mod. We've changed like two things. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even that bad. Yeah, it's not like you asked for like, oh, and can I have a side of, instead of swap this oh, other side? Yeah. All right, thought sees. You can, I don't know if people can hear, but me, John and I were at the next table talking about our uh, visit to a, <laughs> a uh, Himalayan restaurant after F&M, and uh, the, the waitress became very frustrated with us. But we had no unreasonable asks at all. Fetch. Swords, I guess. All right, double four, Supreme Verdict, Prismatic Vista, Surgical, and Lorien Revealed. Uh, uh, I'll get the for one. Take the Lorien. Uh, everything is okay. Lorien Revealed. Pass the turn. Yeah, the, uh, the place around the corner from Bifrost. Just kind of a funny moment. <laughs> the waitress ripped the page out of her little book, or whatever it's called. And was like, okay, we need to start over. <laughs> and we were like, okay. I don't know. A story for another time. I'm just replaying it in my mind now. The thing that, the thing that, <laughs> the thing that, the waitress found frustrating is that we all ordered the same thing. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> oh man, what a weird moment. All right, dark ritual. Mail Here's Turok Dread Canter with Kicker. It's likely getting forced. There's the force. Supreme Verdict is in hand for Marat. Surgical. Makes sense to force Turok, which also has pro white, which can be really annoying. Okay, so paying two life to surgical Turok with reanimate. Still on the stack, it gets countered. Bullmaster and reanimate are the cards in hand for Steven. Doubt there are any more copies of Turok, but there might be. We're not taking a look at everything that's going on. Ooh, there was another Turok. Very interesting. That card's always like a one of. Alright, passing the turn. Bowmaster available. 
Marat has a face-up Supreme Verdict, no double white yet. Nothing to reanimate in either graveyard now. Wow. I'm getting And step Bowmaster makes a lot of sense. Brainstorm in response. Got to do that now. Gonna pick up the Supreme Verdict just in case. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, I mean, uh, not even worth killing. Uh, <laughs> the Xenomite found was like. Uh, Bowmaster is good. Ping you, make an orc army. Looks like we're passing. <laughs> Looks like Marat's holding a copy of Source of Plowshares now. I just like threw this deck together today. <laughs> Swing. No. No. All right. Swords on the bowmaster. Take one. Orc army gets through. Ooh. Here's Triumph of St. Catherine. Leaving up a red. Okay. I haven't, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Yes. So Marat splitting between Snowlands and regular basics. An interesting strategy. And uh, just just put that like in a in a <laughs> in, in the in the notes for your spreadsheets when you uh, add this match to the to the data date <laughs> the data sheet. It's important just to note that. All right, Triumph of St. Catherine gets in there. This card is pretty good. Yeah, making opponents predicts harder. Your delusional crowd is absolutely right. You got to think of this stuff when you're building your decks, folks. One, one land regular, one land snow. You got to, come on. Uh, light on threats, but uh, I felt like I had really good defenses. Yeah, yeah, because and you could fake out your opponent too. They don't know you don't have Field of the Dead. Got to get in people's heads. If you're gonna win the Pro Tour, you got to do this stuff. Yeah, and you also have to memorize every version of every card that comes out and every expansion symbol. Memorized. I still kept the force of mind. Go on Scryfall, hit random, and just read them all <laughs> for at least an hour a day. Sure, you had pass control until game three. It's not that polite. Uh, reanimate Troll. I sided out some number of challenges. All right, reanimate on Troll of Casa Doom. Troll is in there. Yeah, I mean, worst case well, We do say, like, when somebody says, yeah, it's a blast. You would say, like, live long. Honestly. Uh, Ryan says in the flavor text also, you, you actually don't need to know the flavor text. That's that's not true, Ryan. In this match. Right. I had exactly one defense. But I guess I wanted to get troll. So now Troll of Casadoom is on the battlefield. Triumph of St. Catherine still going to attack. The troll will offer a trade. Triumph of St. Catherine will now trigger. And my camera's about to shut off. So plus this, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Moon doesn't really that exciting. Two, three. It also is really loud. Six, yeah. six and this. Yeah. Because I'm going to try and bum rush you with yeah. Soothsayer with Cavern. If yeah. I can. And if I hit Moon off that, it was just like, that was really lame. So, I mean, I think it's any, any, any three turn that. delay yes. Moon that you can now play around by fetching uh, basics is uh, really good. good. In my opinion, I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right, continuing on. So Triumph of St. Catherine is in the top of the deck somewhere, attacking for three now with the Bowmaster and the York Army. Because I feel like I need pressure, but this, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm just taking all four. Yeah. And with a bloom, so you should also play three. you're going to mill three, and I'm going to drain you for two. Okay, so eight, 14, yep. All right, with a bloom command. Hit the Witherbloom. Hit the uh, Triumph of St. Catherine with the mill. I pulled some jank-ass play to get rid of the Catherine. And I'm going to play a 
Okay, Supreme Verdict will wipe it. Uh, uh, and step fetch. Wait, is it in the void though? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, Catherine should be in the void. Those All three. The oh yes. Okay. All the milk. So it was. All right, someone off camera. I think it was just Guy John policing the situation again. Those three cards are in the void. Good catch. Got it. There was a void walker on the board when the Witherbloom command was fired off. Man, I lost to John. That's really good. Dude, I That's like, that's like, that's like rock bottom. So. Uh, I'm gonna take a week off. Then. To be fair, I've lost a dinosaur. Like four I know. That's why I didn't put it on camera. Meticulous archive gonna surveil. Sure you're surveil. <laughs> you're like, I know we're number two, oh, we're number two but uh, I know. Put number three on top. I know. Dude, on top. It just felt yeah, pretty yeah, right. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell us we're playing insane Jax. He's trying to practice one card now. One card. Alright, a ponder now. I think we're not having surveillance. Nice yeah, losing to Jess Guy John is the worst. Jess Guy John got booed on yesterday's stream. Um, that may have been an all-time low moment for 90s MTG and for all of us. For all of us. Is really like, oh, like, right. Just like, because I feel like because the, the floor is so high. Like, imagine getting a feature match and then you're booed by the chat. I mean, that that's crazy. Lorian revealed. Cycle sucks against Bowmaster. You're wiping away. Against Delver, like, you don't need a board point. You just need some spot of force. Okay. Or, and you, yeah, I, I guess you yeah. Uh, like, like Saga decks and shit. That's what it is, is that no one, no one, like online, the, um, that deck is just more from the uh, maybe affinity there. Like, the same. Yeah. I think the turn I won was like, uh, was like yeah. Yeah. that was like the real. Uh, you, so the cards in the center of the table are just exiled with a void counter on them. There's a Scalding Tarn, a Triumph St. Catherine, I think a Prismatic Ending in that pile. Nothing else really going on on the board at the moment other than a bunch of lands. Yeah. <laughs> Card casting a grief. Dress down in response. AP says, I once lost to Jess Guy John at a gaming, etc., leaving a legacy open or something, where he used my own monk tokens against me. All right, so people have battle stories to share against Jess Guy John, it turns out. John's a good player. Yeah. End of turn. Uh, yeah. Uh, in response, okay. on Rainstorm. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, another brainstorm in response to a Bowmaster. 13 to 6 are the life totals. In favor of Marat. It does happen to right Snapcaster dies. You have a loss, and so you're just like, 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 <laughs> All right, attacking for two, then passing the turn. Ron has plenty of mana. Down a game. Prismatic ending. 
Yeah, I do. I do scan. Yeah, yeah. I play draw. And then my draw phase. Do something. Game two. I had it. After my chalice, I pitched the wrong thing, and I couldn't grief you. Oh, in game one, you swing one. Chalice and two sitter, right? Or was that in game? No, I'll see. It's more because I want to see what four cards you're And then I reanimated the two set, and then I did not play. All right, Thought Seize, that reveals the hand. Supreme Verdict, Prismatic Ending, Dress Down, and Prismatic Vista. Dress Down will be selected. Down to four, past the turn. It's like double wasteland, Raven Ball, like afterwards. Gotcha. I'm like, I'll let you, I'll let you keep the challenge. Like, I just want to start you with Just the basic. Okay, huh? Lavinia. Yep. Okay, Lavinia. It's something. Blocks. Also can attack. Stevens at four. Hard casting a troll of Kazadoom. That will be a good blocker for Lavinia and a really good attacker as well. Marat's at 10. How does this race work? Obviously, Marat can't prismatic ending the troll. Not enough ca cards in magic yet. Not enough colors in magic yet, but all right. Just firing off the Supreme Verdict. That's fine. Supreme Verdict blows up the board. Uh, I will wait, wait, okay. Yep. I was hoping MH3 would have the sixth and seventh colors of magic finally, but we'll have to wait for the next one. So I'm at 19 and you are at 19 as well? Uh, yeah, actually, at the end of my elbow, yeah. We know the sixth color is purple, right? What's the seventh color of magic? Does anybody know? Somebody have that written down? One, two, Purple and orange? Seems like people think it's orange. If I do play online, I'll be like, why can't I do something? Oh, yes. Narset finds a sword. It's pretty good. That's you. Response to the counterbalance. Mm -hmm. Okay, opposition agent. opposition agent in response to counterbalance. Just trying to get it in there. All right, swords. Wasteland, the flooded strand in response. So... Uh, wait a second. Okay. I thought uh, Steven was going to grab the deck there, but I guess Marat just said, no, I'm, I'm just going to let it die. I'm not going to activate its ability, which makes sense. All right, fourth of your Lingus. Yeah, I, I got a little confused by the opposition agent wasteland situation, but 
Fourth year Lingus gets the scoop. Thank you. All right, keeping seven both. Stephen will start us off, cracking a fetch. It'll give me like some sort of follow, uh, Thanksgiving joke. <laughs> okay, here's the thought seized. Hand is revealed. Swords, fourth year lingus, dressed down. Volcanic, snow plains, flooded strand, mountains, swords just thrown away. Fourth year Lingus is a scary one as this game could have, could eventually go long. Feels like we've been going for a while though. The, the round timer is probably without much time left is my guess. Pluto Delta cracked. Was like the first thing non-Asian tune that I played in like six months. Yeah, that's like a Actually, no. A version of it. Okay, dark ritual grief. Lavinia revealed. The psycho version. Okay, fourth year Lingus is chosen, that makes sense. Murat says in the chat, I played Jess Guy to remember how much I love playing Storm. Okay. Okay. You want to dedicate your life to the worst mechanic ever? Look at the Storm scale, everybody. Don't forget the Storm scale. I'm only at 17. Okay. It's all fun and games until you end up in a red storm mirror in the finals. Cycling troll. Cycling troll. Lavinia is on the board. What is this Lavinia called anyway? Lavinia something. Lavinia Azorius Renegade. That's the one. AP says, how can Storm be the worst mechanic ever? I've heard that players absolutely rioted over stickers and attractions. Yeah, the stickers and attractions were in a set that was only partially legal in tournaments when it should have been not legal. And then the 30th anniversary should have been legal even though it wasn't. It all makes sense. Which trading cards are tournament legal? Narset. Yeah, whiff on Narset there. Narset gets knocked out. So the Grief will win this race against Nav Lavinia. Lavinia is a 2 2. And it looks like Murat only has one card in hand, while Steven has four. And Steven's deck is, of course, the more threat heavy. Counterbalance. Yes. Bowmaster is in. 
One card in hand for Marat. Grief has menace. Yeah, you don't want to try and Feed the swarm, targeting the Feed the swarm. Don't see that card that much, but pops up here and there. Sometimes you want to burn up a green, and sometimes you want to give him I lose two, I get 12. It's just so. You can just like. Just lay a swing five. You're like, I'll sort of do it. Then I'm going to waste your. Go ahead. Force of will on top of the deck. Five power on the board. Marat's at six. <laughs> no supreme verdict. Yeah, you set up, yeah, you set up all this shit. You turn on your DRC. And and the a bowl master could potentially end this game. Um, okay. I will. You have played just guys. Uh, uh, play one. Fire off a brainstorm. Which one? David, I think you submitted like the there. white red row. What? There's a white red row. Oh, there's two all right there. Marat needs a supreme verdict. Oh, that's so sick. It's like a new, like, god. Yep. Okay, or a Triumph of St. Catherine. That's not the worst. Just an attack with grief, though, ends the game. It's a K. Counterbalance. Abrupt decay on counterbalance. It's gone. Could play like wow. like, <laughs> I don't know. I just googled Modern Horizon 3 spoilers, and for some reason this show made that. Swing with Green. I thought you. All right. So the uh, yeah, we knew the card in hand was Force. Or maybe Stephen forgot, but the attack with Grief ends the match, ends the game. Stephen gets it. GG's nicely played. Mono black, folks. Mono black.